What's up guys and welcome back to a new video where we will be diving into building our own custom dashboard in Nova. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers who will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. From the start of our Laravel Nova admin panel, you might have noticed that Nova provided us with a dashboard page where you basically will be redirected to once you log in. If we click on main in the left sidebar, you will see a default resource page where you could see what you could add on your dashboard. In this video, we will be focusing on adding a couple metrics and cards. If we navigate to phpstorm, you will find a dashboard subdirectory right inside of the Nova directory. In here, you will find the main dashboard which I've just shown you in the front end, right here. It is a pretty straightforward class which is extending the dashboard class. Right inside of the cards method, you could simply add your metrics. Let's start off by making a new metric where we could see how many admins and non admins our application has. To do that, we should start off by defining a new metric which is a partition. And a partition could basically be seen as a pie chart of values. So let's navigate back to the CLI and let's perform the php artisan nova colon partition command followed with the name of your partition. In our case, it will be users per rule. If we hit enter, you'll see that our partition has been created successfully and partitions will be stored inside the metrics subdirectory, right here. Where we simply need to make a small change inside the calculate method. We're basically going to perform the count helper but not on the model class, but on the user model class. We need to replace the third argument as well, which is the group by. So we're basically going to group by a column inside our database of is underscore admin. Now, like I've just mentioned, registering metrics inside your dashboard basically works in the same way as you have done with metrics. So let's open our main dashboard class and let's remove our new helper where we're going to add our new users pair rule. If we navigate to our dashboard and refresh it, you will see that we only have one user where the role is an admin. So what we could do is basically creating a new user from the user's resource where the checkbox of our admin column has not been checked. Now, before we could do that, we should actually disable our authorizable method on our user resource. Let's do that real quick right at the bottom. And if we navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, you will see that we can create our user again. Let's just name it test, an email of test at hotmail.com. Let's add a random password. Let's not check the rule. Let's create our user. If we go to our users overview, you will see that we have two users. So let's go back to our dashboard and right here. You'll see that we have two different roles with two total users one user where the rule has been checked and one user where the rule has not been checked. Now let's add another metric where we could see how many users has registered in the last month. So let's navigate back to iTerm. Let's define a new PHP artisan Nova value named registered users. Let's navigate back to PHP storm and let's open our new registered users metric. Right here, we're simply going to replace our model with the user model, register our new created metric inside our dashboard. So new registered user, navigate back to Google Chrome. And right here, you'll see that we have added our newly created metric on our dashboard. Now Nova also allows you to overwrite the dashboard name. At the moment, we're working inside a main class, which is all right because we're only going to work with one dashboard. But Nova allows you to overwrite the default name, even though your class name is still main. Now to do that, we could simply overwrite the name method inside our dashboard class. So let's do that. Let's say public function name, where we simply need to return a string of the name where we want to change it to. So let's say dashboard. If we navigate back to the browser, you refresh it, you'll see that inside our navbar, main has been changed to dashboard and the title of our dashboard has also been changed to dashboard. Now this was it for this episode where we dived into dashboards in Laravel Nova. In the next video, we're going to have a look at custom menus. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, 
please hit that subscribe button.